Hey everyone, what I have here fresh out the box is the new Kindle Fire. I have it lined up next to my iPhone 4 and my iPad 2. It's Amazon's newest tablet. It's supposed to be the latest and greatest. Um, next best thing to the iPad 2. So I'm going to play around with it and give you my user perspective for these. Down at the bottom, you got your you got your your port for your charging cable, power button, and your 3.5 millimeter speaker um, insert. Up top, you got two speakers. The back, it's a uh, it's a the back is a plastic. It's not like the iPad where it's um a metal in the back, but overall it feels pretty feels pretty solid. But um, weight-wise, I feel about I feel about the same. And as you can see, the Kindle Fire, it's um, it's a good it's a good size, smaller than the iPad 2. See how it stacks up. So after booting up, the first thing it says is "Thank you for purchasing the Kindle Fire." You gotta connect it to a Wi-Fi and register. And then from there, you can um, start access, accessing qu content. Um, I already have an Amazon Prime account, but um, from what I hear, and when you purchase one of these things, yeah, you get free access to Amazon Prime. Side by side, you can see the size of the, the two keyboards. Get more room on the iPad 2 than Kindle Fire. So the good thing about this device is there's definitely not a shortage of content um, as far as newspapers, magazines, books. Those are strong points for um, for Amazon. Video offerings. It's not quite. They don't quite have the 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 library library that Netflix has. But the good thing is, if you're a Netflix su subscriber, you do have access to Netflix. Um, I looked at a view a video a Netflix video on this device and the quality of the video was good. The Kindle Fire was um it was announced six to seven weeks ago and initial reports were that it was gonna be an iPad 2 killer. By far this is not an iPad killer. It has it has good features and it has things that are bad and things that are missing that it should have. One of the things that it doesn't have is three is a 3G option or 4G. It's pretty much standard um, in 2011. The the data storage space is quite slim at six and a half gigabytes. I think I understand Amazon's position where they expect you to have your data in the cloud, and if you need to access it, you can just download it to the, to the device. But if you're a traveler and you may not have access to, to Wi-Fi. This can be inconvenient. You do have the option um, connecting the, the, the Fire to a PC and transferring your data um, with a USB cable. With the Amazon Kindle, you have access to books, music, videos, documents, uh, applications, the internet, as well as um, newspapers and magazines. Everything links back to Amazon where you can acquire more content. However, you can stream you can stream videos using um, Prime Instant Videos for free. You can also purchase movies. I watched the movie and the quality was was good. The speakers I don't care for you're better off um, plugging in headphones to if I bought it solely for reading books I'd prefer um, like the Ken the Kindle e-ink device this it just doesn't do it um, using the the free Kindle app on my iPad I prefer reading books and things I didn't like on this device is that in the Android App Store, there are a lot of apps, but for some reason, a lot of them aren't approved for it to work on the Fire. You're only allowed to to add one email account in in this thing. If you want the ability to add more than more than one email account, you'll have to pay ten bucks to to get support for multiple accounts.
getting documents onto the Kindle Fire is kind of cumbersome. You have to take your document from a PC or wherever and you have to email it to uh, uh, at Kindle email address and then once you do that you gotta go into settings and you gotta keep hitting the sync button until, until your document appears which is kind of tedious and I don't think that was well planned out so um, if, if you're if you're planning on purchasing this as a document reader this is probably not the device for you until they sort that problem out If you're a fan of the iDevices, as you know, Steve Jobs wasn't a fan of Flash and said death to Flash. And Adobe recently um, said they're going to discontinue mobile support for Flash. So I guess most sites will be switching over to HTML5. But um, as of now, you can access Flash with no problem. So to recap, if you're in a market for a tablet, I'd say this is a middle of the pack tablet. It's still missing a lot, like I said earlier, the 3G, um, the low storage space. But if you have a lot of Amazon content already, or you plan on spending a lot of money on Amazon, you have the Prime account, then this is this would be useful to you. Other than that. I'd say if, if, you, if you're solely interested in a tablet, stick with either the iPad or other Android tablets like the Samsung Galaxy 10.1.